Well, hello again, everybody. Uh, it's Thursday night, middle of the night, actually Friday now. So I come out to the car quite often when I'm smoking. Yes, you're going to have to put up with that, but I don't want to hear any bitching because you can't smell it. And again, it's the middle of the night, and I'm taking my time for you because I love you. So anyway, I wanted to show off my sporty little hat. Ha, <laughs> $12 splurge a few weeks ago because I'm really in combat mode now. Went to the army barracks. I, I am. We got to be. I'm in combat mode. That doesn't mean I'm going to get physically violent. UNSA fags, don't twist it. Cause, and I may not be very polite at times, so I'm sorry. I'm going to try not to rant because really, just wanted to give you guys a general update. Um, first of all, I'd like you all to join me this coming Wednesday at UCY TV for the Voice of Humanity. I'm going to have. Uh, two confirmed guests and, and potentially three, but I'm going to be covering either case three topics. The first one will be the update from Paula Flo on the calendar events for the AZ op, who's continuing to fight in Arizona to keep these kids safe. Uh, you may, you know the videos. Paula was arrested saving a child, hero in my mind. She has uh, not backed off. That didn't scare her. She's going to keep doing the right thing, and she's going to need your support. So there'll be a calendar event. She's going to review that for us. That will be actually the uh, two-thirds of the second part of the show. The first part, I'm going to get an update from Carol, or Weeping Willow 2 here on YouTube. Uh, her situation with Liberty Mutual is she's still getting dicked around and only given little bits of what she deserves and what was court-ordered. Um, but we're going to get a quick update from her, uh, the first portion of the show, for about 15 minutes. I've got two new artists that have submitted music so that'll give us an opportunity to break up each segment uh, with some new music and give two shout outs uh, again Paula Flo will be on at about 8.20 and then at about 8.40, 8.45 more or less I want to touch on the Op Liberation Movement again and specifically answer uh, maybe answer some questions and put some information out about Diamond Ranch Academy you guys have heard me talk about it before it's a vile, vile institution, and I had a stepmom who has a daughter there who came across my video and is uh, seemingly pretty upset and wants more information about Diamond Ranch Academy. So I don't know if she'll be able to join us as well or if I'll have more details about her situation. I've encouraged her to call me. The email I got was nonspecific, but the point that that video has been out there and it did grab a mom's attention. It's powerful to me. So maybe we can save another child. So be with me Wednesday night, eight, starting at 8 o'clock East Coast time, ucy.tv. I'll put the link below to the chat room where you can chat, pick up any links that we have to share. And right below that will be a listen link for your mobile devices if you can't be at the PC. Third link down is going to be the archives, in case you can't be there at all, because within a minute of the show, the MP3 file is available free to listen to. Um, so it's all good. You're going to get the show, get the information. Uh, but I'd like you to be there live so you can interact with the other chatters and other supporters of UCY. You're going to see it's a very credible network, and if you're into talk radio and into uh, communicating with like minds, you need to start interacting with UCY on a regular basis, and not just because I'm there, because it, all the hosts are very, very credible, very, very dedicated, and the owner, Jules, I can't say enough about her hard work, dedication uh, to the network and to you guys and to me and, and to just to Jules. <laughs> she's awesome, and she's a mom, too, so uh, she, she's really doing good things. Uh, what else is going on? Okay, just a quick overview update of uh, something I set a goal for about a year ago, maybe a little more. It's a page on my website, and it's kind of raw, and I'm going to tone down the title here as I get closer, but uh, in your face and up your ass. Uh, and that's my goal, to get myself in a position that I will be traveling throughout the United States and uh, taking up causes for those that don't have a voice or those who have been trampled on or those that need to bring attention to important issues in their community and nobody has the time to dig into it or get in people's faces for it. So that's going to take a balance of me lining up work to do in areas of the country because I don't expect uh, people to fund the whole thing. Obviously, I will need a lot of help to do this and funding. 
first thing I want to do though is show you guys that I'm in a position to do that so between now and tax return time the goal is to acquire the RV and I have that in my sights and I may actually have an option uh, to, to have one and start getting it ready within the next few weeks but I don't want to give you any more information when I'm ready and you know that your donations are going to be put to somebody who does have the ability to do what they say they're going to do then I'll let you know but but that is still in my mind I am still heading for that uh, still hoping to be in DC on November 5th the boys and I uh, are gonna try to bring some live reports uh, there for you I'm gonna encourage you to uh, join that movement and I want you to think about this when the Million Mask March first came out I know a lot of you anticipated that this was a CIA setup or, or some other foolishness but I think we already have the proof that it's not and I want you to consider this we're coming November the 5th. Since the announcement of the Million Mask March, many, many groups are storming on Washington in the month of September. And the Muslim and Biker March clash is, I believe, the setup, along with the other marches, we got policemen marching on D.C., we've got several groups marching on DC in December that's the setup folks those are all independent groups with independent thoughts and independent goals which is great but it's enough for them to put in place more restrictions at least on DC and if not then uh, the capitals of the nation as well in other words lockdown or, or martial law not fully but enough that you're not going to all get together because that's what the march is I know it says a million mask march, but you know what, if you show up without a mask, nobody's going to ostracize you. It's all the people, for all the reasons, coming together. And, and, and not just talking about the banks. Don't let people tell you that this is going to fail. Occupy movement failed. Occupy did not fail. Uh, it did not fail. It was successful in many, many ways. And maybe we're still dependent on the Federal Reserve and Wall Street's running rampant, but it got people off their asses to do something, and now it's morphed into we're coming for all the causes. The chemtrails, the radiation, the marijuana, the, the police brutality, all of it. The natural farmers' rights, GMOs. Uh, violations among the public school, child's rights. I know Paula Flo is going to either try to be in D.C. with us to address the issues going on in CPS and our public schools are beating our children. If she can't be there, she's going to head up an event in Honolulu. All the voices are coming together, folks, and this is why we have to really watch December, and I'm really hoping that you guys will catch on to this. We wouldn't have this much distraction going on if it wasn't for the November 5th thing. They're trying to make so that November doesn't happen. And, uh, well, I don't see that they can do that. We own D.C. Don't allow them to do it. Even if they pass the written law that says you can't, you know that your law, the law of being a human being, and along with the Constitution, says that you have the right to do so. In fact, did you know that you have the right to overthrow your government. That's not terrorism, folks. It's not a crime. You're not a weirdo if you're thinking that that needs to happen now. Because I surely am. That means you're a true patriot and you love your country. That you, because to do this, to change the government, you're going to have to take a lot of responsibility on yourselves. To not only take care of yourselves, but to take care of your neighbor. To, to work uh, independent of greed and lust of things really is so if we expect the government to change we're gonna have to change with it but we can talk about those things in November they don't want us to talk about those things either they don't want us to get organized they don't want us to be effective and peaceful at the same time but I think we can be but also with that we have to be willing uh, to or at least understand that at some point you cannot rule out aggression or aggressive tactics because you can come with compromise your compromise can be ignored so you set demands and then when those demands are ignored you have two choices physically remove the person that's ignoring your demands 
or lay down like sheep. So come in peace, I guess is my message. Come in peace, but reserve the right to get very, very violent if need be. Because we all have to be soldiers in this. And not everybody can be. And I'm not asking anybody to bring a weapon. I wouldn't want anybody to bring any weapon to the November march. This is about all of us coming together, children as well, talking about all the issues. There's no need for any weapons. In fact, the police and military have been asked to attend and to leave their weapons at home. Because this isn't about gun rights, although we can talk about gun rights while we're there, because we're going to talk about everything while we're there. They don't want that. And look at the push for marches on D.C. in September. Um, we got to keep an eye on this. Okay, enough about that. What else was there? Work is slow, uh, but looks like fall and through the winter may be better to me than the summer. So uh, keeping the fingers crossed there. And think about this, folks, uh, with my goal of traveling and the activism, if, if you're, you know, doing well and you're thinking about either adding on a room to your house or buying a piece of land and having a home built, um, reach out to me. Uh, you know, it may be that I can assist in that. Um, you know, I'm very good, uh, even if I don't know the area, in coordinating people and getting the job done. So, um, and again, uh, my plans don't uh, involve total funding from my supporters. I will need some help, but again, um, if I can lower my living costs and get to see this country again before it's locked down totally, do some work, get in some people's faces, make some changes, uh, that's a good thing. That, that's a good thing. Um, so, that's the plan. Uh, Oh, Vermont legalizing hemp. You guys saw that. Push that video, please. Um, New Hampshire has to come around. I've had enough. I've had, I, you're not, no, I'm not going to comply. I'm not going to comply with that. And you shouldn't in your state either. Uh, whether you want to use marijuana yourself is irrelevant. You don't have the right to say whether I can or can't. Start thinking about that. You're spending money for the right to stop me from doing something that um, God gave to me. That's that's how it boils down. And if you need any more science, please reach out to me. We can have a four to six hour conversation. I will fully educate you about everything to know about marijuana and hemp and leave you frazzled and disgusted that you've been manipulated this long. Um, so anyway, other important stuff. Oh, this HR, it may be at 748. I'm sorry, it's inside. And when I come to you with this, and we're going to talk about this a little bit, uh, my kids will, will be putting on the video because this affects them. Obama or whoever the leader is can just, once they're 18 and have achieved freedom, they're locked down to a two-year commitment to possibly go kill. No, sir. No, I'm not. No. No, 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 you pass that law, and, and you can go to hell. You, you, you're already, you need to go to hell anyway. You're not sending, you're not committing my children to kill anybody. Okay, and yes, we need people being active in community services, but you're not going to dictate that to us. You're not going to dictate that to our children. I'm not going to allow a law to be written that takes away my children's freedom. I don't have that right. I'm not going to be part of a law that says my child might have to kill for two years of their life. And you know once you're in there, you're not getting out in two years. If in case of war, we've been in perpetual war since the 40s. So what's the chances that your child will be forced to kill? No. No, no. Bullshit. No. So I made my kids aware of it. They're not happy about that law or the ignorant person that that even thought that this was okay to even write on paper so I'm gonna make sure they study it over the next few days and uh, we're gonna question them see if they really know what they're facing and then we're gonna get their opinion on that and uh, I'm gonna hope that you guys would share that with uh, your school administrators and other people and that's another thing back to school 
Vaccines, vaccines, vaccines at the shopping mall when you go in the drugstore. Oh, you're horrified. You got to make sure you inject your children with something else that's toxic this year. Make sure you don't forget. No waiting lines at the at the deli. No, no, you don't have to do that, and you damn well shouldn't. No, do the research. Uh, no, get a waiver. If you need any help with that, if the public school leans on you, some places are good about it, some places they try to make you look very bad, they'll, they'll threaten CPS on you, all that stuff, you better reach out to me and we'll set them straight right off the get-go and we'll ensure that you're protected so that you can make the right choice for your children and not be intimidated by false law and, and people that have no say in the matter. Um, so get with me if you need help with that because it's back to school they're going to be pushing you just take a pause even if you're just hearing for this for the first time do some research if you're not sure reach out to me I'll flood you with information I'll horrify the shit out of you you'll hug your children apologizing for what you didn't know and then you'll find out how to get a waiver and keep them safe so I think that was my list guys again it is the middle of the night now I'm starting to get tired but uh, anyway, much love, many thanks, combat mode.